Hello everyone, in this video I will focus on the commander Merrell Pick. I will provide an overview of the commander and then I will focus on his awakening and awakening skill, which, although can be seen as quite a good skill, I will discuss on why it is not actually very usable in practice. Merrell is basically a free-to-play commander and we can get him from Weirwood Tree from various stages as we can see. We can also get him from the Weirwood Tree shop, which means that we can make him cold quite easy in the early stages of the game. He actually is one of the good free-to-play commanders as he has decent army stats and is pretty good in PvE, especially against rebel leaders. In PvP he provides cavalry attack 30% and cavalry health 30%, which are quite good stats as attack and health are basically the two best stats that are given by these kinds of commanders. He also provides some iron production in case you want to use him on your hyper farms and goes on. For PvE he actually is a pretty good damage dealer. He has one of the highest attacks among commanders and also he provides much damage with his skills as we can see here. He actually can be used very effectively against any infantry rebel leader providing good damage. He actually is in many free to play and mid spider formations both for rebels and we're good memories. In Tavern he provides 3 stars of aptitude and 2 stars of command. Although command is actually really quite useless, even if he provided a lot more stars, aptitude is actually decent. In my opinion it is the second best after leadership together with combat rate in Tavern. So he provides 3 stars of aptitude which is quite good and also needs wine which is not one of the most used by important commanders in Tavern basically, so you can easily increase his level. Let's now focus on his awakening. In the second star, as always, he gets one more star in Tavern, so he increases his aptitude to four stars and command to three stars. In the third star, he also increases the stats by 160% as always, which leads to 48% of cavalry attack, 48% of cavalry health and 160% of iron production. We also have the hidden abilities called Commander Awakening Attributes nowadays. And in the maximum level he gives 18% Cavalry Defense, 18% Cavalry Health and 18% Cavalry Attack, along with 20% of Iron Production. Combined with the normal stats he basically gives 66% of Cavalry Attack, 66% of Cavalry Health, 18% of Cavalry Defense and 180% of Iron Production. Let's now focus on his 4 star Awakening skill. Basically he provides a 50% chance for a 120% critical hit every 4th attack. I just ignore the 5% health increase because it's actually not very important, it's not substantial let's say. As I mentioned also in my Lareo video, you have to be careful here, it is not an additional hit, but it is just a normal hit that is now converted to critical, which matters for other awakening skills, and also adds some percentage on the damage coefficient. So basically this means that every fourth attack he provides a 20% more damage with 50% chance. The skill is basically the same as Lareos, as we discussed in the previous video. However, this is for cavalry lineups, as we can see here. So basically, Merrill cannot be used with infantry setups. This is also one of the major weaknesses of the skill. As I said in the video of Lareo, the skill is in general quite good, as it can be compared even to Jon Snow's skill, a legendary commander awakening skill. Although John still deals more damage, around 10% more damage per attack, the amount of critical hits triggered is actually the same, so it's great in combination with Rhea and Sinara skills for the bleed synergy. However, the main issue here is that, as we discussed before, Meryl is a cav commander, providing cavalry stats and also providing the skill only for cavalry lineups. 
His skill can only be combined with basically bleed in cavalry setups if you use Inara and Rhea with cavalry commanders and can provide some benefits in this case, however bleed is not actually the best synergy for cavalry and is advised to be used only with infantry troops. An overall evaluation for Meryl is that he is a very easy to get free to play commander, basically getting him in early stages of the game via Wirgul Tree, and provides quite nice battle stats for free to play, giving both attack and health. However, his skill cannot actually combine well with any synergy, and thus should be used only in cavalry formation, only if no other commander with better skill is available for the formation. Though, as he is also a male commander, he does not even combine with females, that is the best for cavalry. I suggest 2 starring him for the tavern aptitude and also 4 starring him for your rebel formations.